What's good, Sneakerheads? Back here with another one. Uh, what's in this box right here was extremely stressful to obtain. Um, I was supposed to have three pairs of them. I only have one. This one came from Adidas. The other two were supposed to come from Yeezy Supply. I put the orders in for a 12 and a half and a 13 within 30 or 40 seconds, manually, 30 or 40 seconds with uh, within them dropping. Um, and two days later, they canceled them for some reason. Don't understand why. Still haven't answered my email. Nothing. Uh, Adidas, you know, I put the order in pretty soon. And they honor it, like always. Never had a cancellation issue with Adidas whatsoever. But we'll get into that whole ordeal once we get into this. So uh, let's go ahead and open it. Shout out to Adidas. They always look out when I can get through. Um, because they're so fire. I'm going to open it with fire. Just like always. So... Get that thing cranked up and burning. Probably shouldn't use fire on these, but you know, it's all good. Knowing my luck, it's going to be one day when I'm opening like a $5,000 pair of shoes that it's going to actually like burst into flames and <laughs> you know, so. I absolutely had to have these. These are the Yeezy 350 V2. Hold on. These are the Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Black Reflectives. Size 12 and a half. Wait, did I get a 12 and a half? Yeah, 12 and a half. Super hard to get size. Um, now, I got really lucky to be able to do this because, you know, I've got monitors. So every time something drops, I see it pop up on the monitor like immediately as soon as it drops it pops up on the uh, monitor so you know i saw that the 700 vantas dropped uh you know as that goes on i'm gonna go ahead and take these out um i saw the 700 vantas dropped on adidas so you know nobody wanted those really um ooh, bye yeah um so, you know, I decided, eh, you know, I'll look at them. So I went and looked at them. And then it popped up right after that on the monitor. It said Yeezy 350 V2 Reflective, like black reflective. Um, those popped up as well. And I was like, wait a minute, what? And it said Adidas. And I was like, all right, maybe they just loaded. So I clicked on it. It took me to the Vanta. Like, all right, uh, it's a little weird. So I got out of it. I clicked on it again. It took me right to the Vanta page, like the little waiting room for the Vantas. Like, all right, that's crazy. So, you know, it they do that thing with the uh, with Yeezy now where like 15 minutes before the drop or something like that, they put you in a waiting room for 15 minutes to kind of wean out bots, quote unquote. Um, and then, you know, after, like right on the time frame is when they uh, drop it. So... You know, it said the whole 15 minute bot deal and all that good stuff. And um, so I I just kind of got out of it and that was it. I didn't really get back into it. And for some reason, it was like right around 11 o'clock uh, or 10 o'clock, whichever time they dropped. I can't remember. Um, I decided to go ahead and check the monitor one more time and I clicked on the link. And this time it took me bypassing the waiting room right into the Vantas. And lo and behold, Vanta adult, Vanta infant, and, you know, children. And then right next to that, the 350 V2 reflective. It was kind of like a sneaky drop. Everybody swore that it was a glitch. <clears throat> there were people that said that they got a hold of Adidas reps. And that they were like, well, that was a glitch. So more than likely, it's just going to cancel the second that you put an order in or whatever else. Nope. They shipped it out. Um, but yeah, as soon as they dropped, for some reason, it just let me right through past the waiting room and right in there. And I was able to cop my 12 and a half. Um, I'm a true 12, but these run a half size small. So a 12 and a half is like absolutely perfect. 
So for anybody out there that hasn't gotten a Yeezy 350 V2, this works for all of them. And also like Wave Runners, like 700s, 500s, like everything. You want to go to a half size to a full size up. Uh, a half size is usually perfect. Um, but when it comes to Yeezys and stuff, a half size, like a 12 and a half, is always like $100, $200 more expensive. So I usually just go to a 13. I mean, they work too. So I uh, highly recommend doing that. If you can't afford the half size, just go full size. It'll feel just as good. All my other Yeezys, with the exception of one, are 13s. I got one other 12 and a half. Um, so yeah, let's just jump into this butte right here. Uh, these things are currently going for like $1,100. And uh, that's what hurt me even more. You know, when I put in the two orders on Yeezy Supply and they ended up canceling two days later for no reason. And it it wouldn't have been a inventory issue because I literally checked them both out within 30 seconds of them dropping. Um, and they have that whole waiting room thing and stuff like that. For some reason, I was able to get through on two separate computers, two different names, two different addresses, two different cards, everything. There was no way you can link them together. But they canceled them two days later. doesn't make any sense. But I heard through the grapevine that a lot of people got theirs canceled through Easy Supply. And um, so I thought it was just something I did. But, I mean, I copped a, two pairs of 13 and a pair of 7... Uh, C and infant on the regular black ones through Yeezy Supply, and those have shipped. So I don't understand why those got canceled unless they just went through and just selected people randomly to cancel. Sorry, I had to change my sweatpants, it was getting a little hot. Now, this sneaker features a black prime knit upper with gray hues. It really does in real life kind of look like a dark, dark gray color, um, mainly because of like these. Uh, 3M kind of shards all through it, like the 3M stitching uh, to make it pop. Um, here's a picture of it flashing real quick. These things are bright, I'll tell you that right now. Like compared to all the other reflectives that come out, these things are bright. <laughs> now, uh, and they also, you know, they've got the really dense laces to reflective laces, so that just makes it like blinding when you hit these things with light. Uh, the on feet that I've got coming up is going to have that flash too on them. So make sure to check that out when it comes up. Um, so it sits on a black moon boot style midsole and outsole uh, boost filled, of course. Um, that's what makes these things so comfortable. You know, people complain about the way they look or whatever else. Nine times out of ten, those people are just salty, but I mean, you can't, I don't know, because when they first came out, I thought the same thing. They were, I, I was like, man, those things are way too minimalist, like they don't look good at all, but they grow on you. Like, it, it may just be the hype beast inside, but they do grow on you. Uh, I really do like the way they look, because they're unique, you know, they, they don't really look like another sneaker that's out there, so. Now, the cool thing with these, besides... You know, the fact that it's got this clear stripe right here, which also gets me like you had the first ones that came out. They had the stripe with the supply 350. Uh, and then you had the next ones that didn't have that printed. It was like reverse. So it was printed on the inside. So it showed up only when you looked real close on it on the outside. Then you had these, which is like clear right here. Uh, and you can even see, you know, the toe cap right there with all the holes in it. Um... But the fact that they all kind of group those models all together under the uh, Yeezy 350 V2 is really confusing, especially to people that don't really know this particular model or are just now getting into it. Uh, in my opinion, they should have done like the first one, Yeezy 350 V2, and then the next one that came out with it gone, the 350 V2 Solid. And then this one, the 350B2, whatever. Which I think they call these the statics. Um, so they might do that. Now these sneakers released alongside the non-reflective blacks as well. And, you know, like I said, I've got a few pairs of those coming too. So that video is going to be dropping right after this one sometime. Um, but, I mean, I like these. But I really like those black ones. And the reason why I like those black ones, it's kind of toss-up in a way, but, um, you know, this sneaker is a perfect blend 
and I think this is why they're so popular. This is a perfect blend between the uh, black and red and the pirate black. So you have the black and red kind of pull strap back here and just the look of the sneaker, you know? And then you have the kind of colorway in a way like this one matches a little bit better just because it's got this light uh, 3M accent. The Pirate Blacks weren't 3M, but they did have that solid black, light, dark gray kind of accent throughout the upper. Uh, so this one kind of, you know, it, it kind of makes it look a little bit closer to it. I don't know if it'll show it on camera, but you can see the dark with the light in there a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's a perfect blend of those two. That's why I had to cop a pair for me and my kid. Um, not in the reflectives, though. There's no way that my kid would get a pair of these. I don't even think they drop them in infants, but... Uh, if they were infant sizes that came out, those things would be going for like four or 500 bucks. Like there's no way I would let a one year old wear those. That's, that's crazy. You know, that's, that's being irresponsible. <laughs> now let's go check these out on foot real quick. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to see these on foot. Now, like I said, I'm going to hit up with a flash as well. So you definitely need to check that out. These things look even better on foot than they do in hand. Like, you know, Yeezys, all the ones that have dropped are good. But the thing that always threw me off with Yeezy is like, he'll release a colorway like the Zebra. Everybody loved that one. And then you have the Butter that comes out. And then you have the Cream. And then they're all like, you got three, the Sesame. Like, they're all basically identical. Just a slight variation of the same color. Why would you do that? I mean, it kind of makes sense. Like, he might have been doing it so you could have a variation to match your, you know, uh, whatever you're wearing for that day, your outfit or whatever. But if you're going to do it, you need to do it with all of them. And it's like all or none. You can't just, like, test the waters because nobody really wants that, especially with a brand that's, like, so young still. Um, you really need to get people on it. So this is a perfect design. Go for it. It's got that static look as well as like the straight black that people like, like me especially. Um, the Yebras, that's good. The Zebras, that's good. Because you've got like a a multi a, a multitude of color kind of, you know, blended into it. So uh, the Yebras were like yellow and bluish. You know, the Zebras were white and black. Um, you had the black and red ones. Like, you know, you had the bel uh, Belugas. Uh, even the reverse belugas, you know, where it took a, that stripe away. Uh, you still had that color there, you know. So at least those, there were, you know, differences in the color and the design of the shoe a little bit. Where the cream and the butter and, you know, all those, like, I mean, it's good because nobody wanted them. So people that never had a Yeezy was able to buy them. But... You know, and the white one was a good idea because you could customize it, you know, and a lot of people only bought it for that reason. Um, otherwise, I mean, why would you get a white all white Yeezy? I think it's just going to get dirty, you know, like you take it outside for five minutes and it's dark brown.
Now, when it came to the um, the drop of this one on Adidas, uh, I really do like how they went and got went about doing that because they sh they were allowing the people that were dedicated fans to be able to cop this shoe. Even a lot of the people that had bots had no idea, you know, like they. I had been up all night long waiting for the Easy Supply and the Adidas drop. And, you know, me and one of the guys from my uh, Discord uh, that I follow were, you know, messaging back and forth, like, all night long. Like, everybody was like, oh, they're dropping at 3 o'clock. They're dropping at 5 o'clock. They're dropping at 4.30. They're dropping blah, 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 blah. And it got to the point where Adidas had it loaded on their main page for the longest time. And then like two hours before they dropped, they just took it off. And, you know, people speculated for about 15, 20 minutes. And then they were like, no, nope, they're not dropping. They're not dropping. They're only dropping in store, like, you know, stuff like that. And when they dropped, even people that had the monitors were like, okay, that was just a glitch. You know, I even thought it was a glitch because when you clicked on it, it just took you to the 700 Vantas. Um, but, you know, the people that waited to get in line to purchase the Vanta were pleasantly surprised to see this one waiting alongside. Now, like I said, you know, for some reason it just let me right through. I was able to buy my 12 and a half and go on like that. But, um, you know, when that happened, I set up all my devices immediately and tried to get in again. And by the time it finally let me in, like 20 minutes later, they were sold out. So once... You know, when I found out about it, I posted it on Twitter. So if you're not following me, go follow me on Instagram and Twitter because, you know, things like that will get posted as soon as I find out about them. Uh, so if you ever need that little bit of info, I mean, you know, if you guys were following, you probably could have copped. Um, if you had like a bypass or something like that, or you were just lucky enough to get let in. But um, yeah, they, uh, when I finally got let in again, about 15, 20 minutes later, they were sold out. And I got let in a bunch of other times after that for the next hour. And I would check every time I got let in and they were just sold out. So from the time that the first few people got let in and found out about it and posted, the bots found out about it, went in and ate them up. Like they were gone real quick within like 15 minutes of them dropping. So thank you to the sneaker gods for uh, letting that glitch happen to let me through, be able to get these. Because if I weren't, if I were relying on the two that I got from Easy Supply, I would be pissed right now because they just straight... I mean, I'm already angry because they canceled two of my shoes for some reason. Um, but they, they let the other ones go through. I mean, at least I'm getting something, but whatever. Um, probably not going to wear these. I am I mean, it depends. You know, if the price keeps going up real high, I'll just go ahead and get rid of them. But, um, you know, if they drop, I'll probably wear them. Just because they look good on foot. You know, I'm, I'm sure they're going to look a little bit different than just the straight black ones. Uh, but we'll find out about those when that come when they come. So, uh, like I said, you know, uh, check that video out. It'll be out about probably three days after this one is. So, And then my uh, I've got a uh, thing that I'm starting called Little Kicks. Or Little Kicks uh, for my son's shoes. Because I'm buying duplicates for uh, him and me. So if you've got a kid and you want to know the quality or whatever else of the particular sneaker, keep an eye out. Uh, I'm going to be dropping those, you know, right alongside these as well. And the first episode is going to be about the bread, um, the bread fours that just came out because I got a pair for him too. So uh, go look around for that. That'll be up pretty soon. So um, what do you think about this sneaker? Were you able to cop it? Uh, do you, did you guys even want it? Um, I saw a lot of people that were drooling over these and I was one of them. I had to have that straight black, you know what I mean? Um, so, and, um, where were you able to get through if you were able to get it? Did your order get canceled from Yeezy Supply if you got through there or Adidas? Never had an issue with Adidas though. Uh, which is weird because Adidas kind of runs Yeezy Supply as well. Like my two black ones that are coming from Yeezy Supply are being shipped from Adidas out in California. It's really weird. So I'm pretty sure because of the customer service issues, the shipping issues and everything else that they had previously over the last few years, uh, Adidas just went in and probably took over, uh, which I'm glad they did. But there's still no contact info out there for issues, you know. Um, but yeah, um, you know, did you guys love this? Let me know in the comments um, and stay tuned for the all black video and the kids version coming as well. So. 
I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, follow me on social media so you can stay up to date on everything, uh, including that little bypass and everything. Uh, if you guys followed me, like I said, you would have known. So, um, and click that little bell icon if you guys want to uh, be let, you know, if you guys want to know as soon as I drop a video. So, um, you know, I've been late on a lot of things lately with my kid and everything getting back in schedule but you know it's coming up we've got it all good now so i'm going to be back to back to back and i know you saw that little box over there with the trophy rooms um more than likely either that video is up or it's coming so look for that and uh yeah i'll catch you on the next one stay safe have a good one peace